Hey YouTube, hey Bold and the Beautiful fans. So Hope admits to Brooke that she has feelings for Finn. Oh no, so let's get into this. Of course, Brooke asked Hope if she has feelings for Finn and Hope admitted to it. She said that she understands Finn and that she cares about him. And she thinks that Finn doesn't have a voice in his marriage with Steffi, okay? And even in that, in the office there, the CEO room, that confrontation, that, that brief confrontation, Hope even said those, right? She's along those lines. She said that, you know, she doesn't want to get Finn in trouble. And then she told Steffi to kind of focus on Finn, you know? And uh, so there's definitely a lot of tension between Steffi and Hope, and that's only going to continue, it seems, especially if Brooke uh, takes on a bigger role at Forrester Creations. We'll, we'll still have to see if that happens or not. And, you know, Hope thinks that she and Finn are kindred spirits because of the, the connection to their parents and, and the Sheila stuff and all of that. And, you know, I think Hope has a point there too. The question is, is there, there's an idea that maybe Hope, you know, with her headaches, that maybe she's kind of overreacting to, to her feelings a little bit. I don't know, um, but, you know, we'll have to see. But we saw Hope, you know, having these, these, these daydreams and these fantasies too about Thomas too. And that turned into something real. Is this gonna turn into something real? Um, it, you know, it remains to be seen on that. But, but about those daydreams and fantasies, right? That's exactly what it turned out to be, okay? It was not real. And I, I'm guilty because I thought it was real. It looked, it looked real to me, you know? So um, <laughs> I took the bait there. And, uh, but it looks like Hope is gonna have another one of those fantasies at the cabin very soon this week, okay? Apparently, um, Hope is gonna need Finn to come to the cabin to help with something. Maybe it involves Beth. Maybe Beth is um, under the weather or something like that and Finn is over there and helping out and, and Hope is going to have another very sizzling fantasy, okay? So we'll see if these fantasies turn into reality down the road. There's an idea, there's a rumor that maybe they are going to go in that direction. The show is going to go in that direction, uh, but that's just rumor, nothing's official, you know, about bringing Hope and Finn together. Uh, I would love to see it, okay? <laughs> I will admit that, I, I think it would be great because I do think they have a lot in common. And um, I think Steffi and Liam would make a good, you know, bringing steam back would bring a lot of, of interest back too, I think, on some level too. Although Sin, Steffi and Finn are very popular as well. Um, Hope and Finn make a lot of sense because, you know, you know, Hope, you know, Hope is going to allow Finn to, you know, pursue that relationship with Sheila. And I don't think Steffi is going to do that, okay? Um, and I just think they're a better fit together. Finn is very devoted to Steffi, but I'm wondering, you know, if maybe Steffi with, with her ultimatums and, and her strictness, if, if she could be pushing Finn away a little bit too, we'll have to see. But Finn is very devoted to Steffi and the kids and the family he has with her. So, um, you know, these being fantasies, you know, makes a lot of sense because Finn hasn't crossed any lines yet, okay? But, you know, it's interesting too because Steffi has, still hasn't told Finn about Liam kissing her either, right? And, you know, Steffi never told Finn because she didn't want Finn to overreact to it and cause a problem with Liam and, and all of that. But it's still not being transparent either, right? So that's something to kind of keep in mind too because Steffi, you know, she wants to be in control but she hasn't been completely honest with her husband either. Um, but Finn is completely devoted to her, although Finn um, does tend to do what he wants to do, right? I mean, he, you know, he did go to the memorial uh, of Sheila's and then, you know, Sheila's wedding too. That sounds weird to say, right? <laughs> he went to Sheila's memorial and then to Sheila's wedding, right? How does, how does that work out? Only on soap operas, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, he was going there to pick up the pizzas and then he kind of walked into that by mistake. Okay. And, you know, felt obligated to stay. All right. But so Finn, you know, he's, and, and he helped Deacon find Sheila, you know, and went through all of that, you know, searching through the abandoned 
warehouse and finding Sheila chained to the wall and all of that and Finn having this moment where he's like, you know, I want to be with you, right? He, he wants to have Sheila in his life, but Steffi won't allow that. And then Finn, you know, realizes his priorities. He's like, okay, you know, that's the way it's gonna be, you know? So, um, you know, Hope would allow Finn to explore that relationship and whatever comes of that, okay, whether it's good or bad, um, you know, at least he would have that chance to explore that. So uh, we'll see if he ever gets that chance, right? Uh, if, you know, if Finn and Steffi, you know, separate or break up or divorce and how that would look, okay? And if he would end up with Hope. Thomas is coming back, so we'll see how that factors into things. And, um, you know, there's, there's definitely a lot of moving parts to this story and nothing's official about Hope and Finn being together, but Hope's going to have more fantasies. So we'll have to see all of this unfolds this week and what it leads to. Could these have something to do with Hope's headaches? You know, are Hope's headaches a factor in her having feelings for Finn or having these fantasies? And, you know, Finn brought up an interesting point, too, when he was talking to Steffi, because Steffi told Finn that she doesn't think it's a good idea to be around Hope anymore, right? <laughs> and she's basically saying, you know, the less you see of Hope, the better. And then, you know, Finn's talking about how there's this cycle of this rivalry that started with Stephanie and Brooke and now Steffi and Hope and possibly Kelly and Beth, right? And, of course, Steffi doesn't want to see that happen either, but... It's a valid point, I think, you know? And so I, I don't know if Finn is gonna see less of Hope and we know he's gonna go over to the cabin, so Finn's gonna do what he wants, right? <laughs> so I think Steffi's in, in a new situation here where she's like, okay, maybe, you know, she doesn't have um, the control that she wants, you know, to keep kind of keep Finn in line a little bit, okay? Um, and away from the people that she wants away from her family, like Sheila, like Hope, you know, and things like that. So. Stay tuned to see how things develop here because it's going to be really interesting. And um, it's going to be interesting to see too how Steffi reacts to the Brooke news. If Brooke ends up getting a bigger role at the company or not. Of course, we know Brooke turned down Ridge's offer. Will that change? Will it turn into something different maybe? Stay tuned. But we know some more fantasies and daydream scenes are coming, okay? And Hope, you know, definitely is moving towards that direction where she's thinking maybe becoming obsessed with Finn. We kind of saw this with Thomas too, but it doesn't look like Hope can, you know, get Finn out of her mind and Finn's, you know, healing hands, okay? So stay tuned for more intriguing uh, emotional, you know, possibilities here, okay? Uh, this week on The Bold and the Beautiful with Hope and, and her feelings and and how Finn, if Finn is going to start developing feelings too, right? Because this is kind of one-sided. We know Finn likes Hope a lot and is telling her that she'll meet a great guy one day, right? And might might even be you, Finn. <laughs> you never know. But we'll see how things move and it's going to be an interesting um, end of the week here um, and uh, more to come. So don't miss a moment and let me know what you think. Do you think Hope and Finn are going to get together or do you think that the relationships are going to stay the way that they are? Let me know your thoughts. And hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.